What's going on YouTube? If you didn't see my other video showcasing some of the new fishing content in the recent biggest Lens Island update, you should go check it out now if you wanted to see all of what the new update brought to the game. And you know, while you're at it, you might as well go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new Lens Island's updates and content. If you're new to fishing in Lens Island, you may struggle a bit figuring out all the ins and outs of how fishing works, and in this video, I'll hopefully clear some of these items up. First things first, you'll need to buy a fishing rod from Kevin the Fisherman, who is basically just southeast of the raft you spawn in at. Once you've got the rod, it's similar to other games where you toss the bobber into the water, whether that's in the ocean, river, or ponds, we'll get into the different fishable areas later. But once your bobber goes underwater and you get a fish on, don't immediately press anything. It took me a few attempts to realize this. You're going to wait to see a little white circle similar to when you crit when swinging tools and weapons and click the left mouse. During the whole mini game, you'll need to time your clicks and make sure that you're only clicking on the white circle because every so often there will be a similar red circle which you do not press anything then. This initially had me confused because when swinging tools and weapons a red circle meant that you missed the crit, but in fishing it means do not press anything. If you do, you'll miss the fish and have to try again. It's important to note that each different type of fish has a different pattern, some harder and some easier. So while your easier fish will have all or mainly white circles, your more rarer fish will have more red circles mixed in to try and throw you off. So let's talk about what areas you can catch fish and what types of fish spawn at these certain areas. You can pretty much catch fish in every body of water, whether that be the ocean, ponds, rivers, and even cave ponds. There are a total of six different catchable fish at this time, the most common saltwater fish will be your sardine, which obviously can be caught in the ocean. The next most common freshwater fish is the bluegill, which can be caught in ponds and rivers. The trout is a little bit more rare, but can be caught also in ponds and rivers similar to the bluegill. The puffer fish and the swordfish are your more rare catches and can be caught in the ocean. The anglerfish can be caught in the cave pond, but be careful when fishing in the caves because it is definitely not as peaceful as it is on the overworld because enemies can attack you while you're fishing. Now some of you may be thinking, well fishing is fun and relaxing, but why would I want to use fish for healing and hunger instead of using crops that will mostly auto grow? While that's somewhat kind of true, fishing overall has really just meh levels of healing and hunger recovery compared to crops, so honestly, I'd recommend crops like watermelon and grapes for your hunger and healing. But that said, the coolest new feature is that eating certain types of fish can give you a buff after consuming the cooked fish. Currently, the four buffs from eating cooked fish come from the rare fish. The puffer fish damages you and gives you the tetrotoxin buff, which, and I'm not 100% sure, gives you 10% increased attack speed and 10% reflect damage. The trout gives you the slippery buff, which increases your speed and crit damage by 10%. The swordfish gives you the sharpness buff, which increases your damage by 20%. And the anglerfish, when eaten, will give you the luminescence buff, which gives you a little light that'll help illuminate the darkness as you traverse through the dark caves. Speaking of cooking fish, to cook, all you do is toss them in the fireplace with some wood and the fish will cook similarly to making bread. A couple more interesting tips, you do not actually have to fish in schools of fish to be able to catch fish. But that said, your best bet to catching fish will be to cast in the school, but you can throw your line anywhere and still catch fish. It's important to note though that if you don't throw your line into a school, you can catch other materials such as coins or machine parts. After you've caught a few fish from the school, it will disappear temporarily. Now I do like that design choice because if you want to build a nice dock or a base over water, you can build it wherever you want and still be able to catch fish. And that pretty much wraps it up. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comment section below. And please do not forget to like and subscribe as it supports my channel and you don't want to miss out on any more of this Lens Island content. See you next time, YouTube.